Thanks for joining us on Ruffles and Rain Boots today. We are painting Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. You're going to need a few supplies. Here are the Posca paint pens I used. I had two sets used here. And all you're going to do is either print off something or draw something in your favorite character. Mix a little background paint with water and it just makes it a little easier. It'll dry a little faster and it won't bubble or crack. And just, I painted the entire background around Stitch, speeding this up for you. I did take some care around the details, but there you go, it's done. Now we're gonna mix a little white paint with water and add our stars. Now we're gonna do this now so that we don't um, cover our stitch. And now it's quick and easy, right? It's time to color in the stitch. Um, again, I took a little less care right here because I was going to clean everything up with outlines later. So you can go pretty fast. Again, rock painting, you're going to basically outline most things. So, um, and there's no except, exception here with your favorite Disney characters. So again, you can draw them on your own or use a stencil you find off the internet. But here, my concept was just that Stitch was going to be chomping on the earth. And so here we're gonna just fill in the eyes and we're gonna let that dry before adding the reflectors on everything. So you'll see that a little bit later. But just make sure it's relatively clean. Now for the earth, I've never painted an earth before, so I just wanted it a really different image than the cartoonish Stitch. So I used acrylic, uh, paints diluted in a little water and this is not really any landmass in particular you guys it just put you know put little green stuff here and there and then I did the same with blue and I mixed uh, the blue with water and then the blue with a little white to give the you know the oceans a little bit of depth again I don't know what I'm doing and then so for the cloud cover for the for the earth I just um, added a little white acrylic paint and then blotted some of it off uh, I did add a highlight to one side of the earth and a shadow to the other side using a little bit of uh, acrylic paint. And then after that was dry, I started adding all of my details. So the first details are your reflectors. The second details are any kind of, you know, I use fingernails or anything like that and the teeth. Um, Again, it, all of this has to be dry by the time you do this, so your paint pens and acrylic pens won't, or acrylic paints won't mix together. But it's relatively easy. This entire rock took, start to finish, took less than an hour to make. So it was really, it's a pretty easy concept. And the last set of processes of the actual artwork is gonna be the outlines. Now, I know some people, uh, like to outline everything in black but for this guy and because I had the galaxy background I chose to outline the actual stitch character in the dark blue that I used um, I just really like the dimension it gives with the two blue outlines so I took a little bit of time here even though it doesn't look like it because I've sped it up for you this part was pretty tedious to make sure I didn't uh, mess anything up <laughs> And the next, uh, almost the last step, is to just add a couple colored dots and bringing the colors of your character in to the stars. And I just pinks and blues all over the place. And then I like to paint the back of the rock. And after this is dry, I seal it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots.